right, so I am going to show y'all not only this chili, which is probably better than any chili you've ever had in your life. There is magic in here. I am going to, uh, I'm going to show y'all how I wired up my truck to have a unique power in the back. Here's Yuri and Lana. Yuri, say something in Russian for us. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyway, okay, so first of all, I'll show y'all my light I talked about. So there we go. This is a great improvement from Amazon over the factory ARE light, which was made in Canada of all places and was still kind of, but anyway, so two, one, secured and it's mounted to the same plate. But check this out. All right. So you may have already seen something like this. I'm not the first to do it, but I'll show you how I did it. So I am hardwired to the battery and I'm at 12.7 right there. But this is not only a 12 volt outlet for like a cigarette lighter or power converter, but also USB fast charge. In addition to, of course, the 100 slash 400 watt option we have, have here, that is kind of dinky. Yes, so now I can run significantly more power. And I'll open this up again here in a second when I show you, but we'll start at the front of the truck first. And then, yes, so of course, this is our little sleep spot for tonight. And it is going to be, wow, focus, yeah. So, back of the truck, very comfortable. I'll probably level out a little bit more. But let's talk about wiring that up and then a couple of tricks I did that not only saved money, but did a very good job. So if you know me, I am all about saving money, but only if the job gets done correctly. And let's talk about that. Bear with me. All right, so I have wired up this auxiliary fuse box right here, coming right off the battery. Like it should be but here i'll take the cover off but so i was thinking about where could this auxiliary fuse box go for the longest time i thought okay for a second i thought i'll put it on top of my own fuse box and then I, my brain started working again and uh that wouldn't work because once i wired it up on it in my fuse box i would be it'd just be a nightmare but what i ended up doing i wanted to mount it so I went to Lowe's and I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't want to use wood. Wood under a hood just doesn't make all that much sense. Even if I painted black, it'd just be kind of weird. And then I thought metal. I went to Lowe's to get just L brackets, metal, good to go. And then I thought, I saw this in the power uh, section or the electrical section. And I thought, look at this, how perfect is this? So I've got a little outlet box that would just connect to a, like a two by four behind she -Rock. 85 cents, I have an extremely secure mount. Doesn't, zero play whatsoever. And my fuse box, which is just something simple, Amazon special, right off of, uh, yeah, right off of Amazon, is completely securely mounted. And the way I did it was with four very short self-tappers that run right off, or excuse me, right into this side wall. And uh, yeah, so now I've got an extremely secure mount that is sitting face up so water can't get in and properly wired straight to the battery. And then off of that, right now I'm only running two things. Focus, okay, so one of these things is going to be, this guy right here, we'll talk about him first. This guy is the hotline going to the camper shell which was previously factory installed to the battery from the ARE camper shell installer. So it was straight to the battery. There's the reason you only see a hotline here, which is again, this one in the middle, I'll edit that in, is uh, they grounded it off of the back because it's only lighting up a couple of LED lights and nothing more. It's very simple, they kept the ground there. I then ran uh, my own line, which is going to be 
this one, I'll edit something in, and it's going, sorry, so I'll just point, it's gonna be this guy, this hotline, my tape is being kinda of crappy, it should be, it's quite beautiful, I want it to be beautiful. Anyway, so the hotline is linked with this ground line, and then running through this wire loom all the way back, and now where the heck is that going? Well, I already showed you, it's all the way in the back of the truck. Properly zip-tied, secured, under the truck, all the way, okay. Going to, I'm actually going to modify this. I did this in a hurry earlier, and now that I see this here, although it is loomed, I'm going to put this back further up in here. I'm not a fan of this, so I'm going to unplug this little grommet and then hide this away zip tied. I don't like the idea that my wheel can sling crap onto this loom. Over over time, it might actually wear out. But anyway, so one of those is going to the camper shell, as fact as installed from ARE or the Autoplex store that I bought my camper shell from, and the other one is going to the outlet that you saw earlier, but let's talk about that. So it follows inside the boxed frame and properly zip-tied all the way under the truck. The wind, I'll get that later. Anyway, so all the way out of the way, not anywhere near any exhaust or moving parts, and it comes up, it, sorry, excuse me, it, follows over to the passenger side and then comes up into this box. Now, let's see what that looks like. It's a USB cable out. So, I took the, the wire loom and brought it right to that box and then wired up everything right here that you see. So, I have, still have storage access, but I also now have this excellent panel that is easily accessible, gives me significantly more power, gives me 12 volt option and USB fast charge option. <laughs> <There's ran> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're out here camping at Lake George in Colorado. I'll show you the lake in a second. All right, throw a line in the water for some trout later. Anyway, so yeah, uh, completely wired up, ready to go. the lab in Ushanka.